I found a review about one of your performances. After seeing the John Malkovich torment, it is unfortunately too late to ask to have him deported since he already packed his bags and set off traveling around different towns every day hiding behind the name being John Malkovich. A, a song almost begins. And what follows is a big fat zero. <laughs> Mr. Chopin increasingly produces the crudest modulations. Cunning must be the connoisseur indeed, who while listening to his music can form the slightest idea when wrong notes are played. Its difficulties to the eye being doubled by the composer's eccentricities of notation. Okay, imagine your, uh, your, your feet are uh, on the ground, you're up in the sky, up in the clouds. The, the sky is bright, vivid blue. There are some white clouds floating by, very fluffy. And, and all of a sudden, you're up there in the sky, up on the Chopin is, for the most part, excessive. We cannot imagine any musician who has not acquired an unhealthy taste for noise and dissonance to feel otherwise than dissatisfied with the grand falsa. In search of ear-rending dissonances, torturous transitions, sharp modulations, repulsive contortions of melody and rhythm, Chopin is altogether a master. <laughs> originality through the strangest tonalities, the most unnatural chord positions, and the most absurd combinations in regard to fingering, but it's not really worth the trouble to hold such long speeches for the sake of the perverse music of Chopin. Had he submitted this music to a teacher, the teacher, it is to be hoped, would have torn it up and thrown it out his feet, which is what we symbolically wish to do. Please go. <laughs>